Hi there, and welcome back to Crusader Kings, to the Lords of the Fjords. We're here with our king, King Scrungles the Lion, the king of Ninizia, heir to the Jardim of Welsk, and now looking for lands for his unlanded family. And for that, we're going to move our troops here to Ugra and to Koshma, because we want Silma. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, can we get it? That's the real question. I think we can get it, but what results would it have? I don't know. We can certainly claim it, and then we can get it if we can get the war score. So let's do that. Let's position ourselves there and see what we can do. Hmm. Well, after that, Actually, yes, um, that is that is something I forgot nearly. We want to see the realm prosper, and after we will see the realm prosper, we will... Um, we want to see the realm mobilized. The world is a dangerous place and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill your son Stain. What again? He's already in hiding. This is worrying. Our good Jarl of Welsk will keep him in hiding. So, while prospering, we want to see if we can do something. Something else that is nice. Search for a smith. And hold a great blot. Oh my goodness. We have a hunting focus, so we could hunt and hold a great blot. We do that together. Let's see. When can we greater or equal than September? Well then let's let's see. Let's first see who is in our prison. Two kids. And these women here. Ah, they're a little bit dangerous. At least this one is. Cannot recruit her either. How about that one? She's kind of a... Ah, yeah, she's very dangerous. Look at that. It's very intriguing. And then we have this young girl. Kishite Silasun. Uh, we should just probably release her from prison because why what why would we keep her? It's just at our court. She's a courtier now. Get Tograk Kichaid the quick. Um, change this to faith or to uh, we have heritage that is already pretty good so let's release her him um, I don't really see well then Let's, let's see here. No. No one wants to marry. Release her from pr prison and let's hold a great blot. Let's see where we can do that. Yeah, nice. For more prosperity, you have sent out summons to all of your vessels for the blot. Those that have been baptized or profess to follow the teachings of the Prophet will have to offer gold to be exempted from this magnificent feast. Our heirs are also going to be there, so that's going to be interesting. The guests have arrived and the time has come for the blot to begin. You gather outside the temple and start by offering animals as sacrifice to the gods. 
while their meat is prepared for the feast that is to follow the blood is sprinkled on statues of Odin, Thor, Freyr and the other gods, well as on the worshippers themselves, now for the human sacrifice. Kat Katyako is brought up from your dungeons and escorted to the temple. Even as the noose is placed around her neck, Katyako stares vacantly ahead without betraying any emotion whatsoever. It seems she has accepted her faith. All oh, Father, we offer you this sacrifice. Ilona is brought up from the dungeons and escorted to the temple. A noose is placed around her neck, and the rope is thrown over a sturdy branch of a nearby oak. A small yellow pool forms at Ilona's feet. All oh, Father, we offer you this sacrifice. The sacrifice over the feast. At the end of the blood can now begin. The meat of the animals that were sacrificed has already been prepared and there's plenty of meat to go around. Merry times. Oh, our acquaintances died. How could that happen? <laughs> oh, my attempts to sway Alvor. Our wife has not been in vain. Ah, we're winning over the women's friendship again. Very nice. Peace is over, and with it the blot, it will be at least nine years until we hold the next one. But as your vassals return home, most seem to agree that the ceremony well worth. We've had all people coming. That's great. I've seen how Prince Gudmunder handles swords, our brother, and it's not a pretty sight. Half of the time he seems to forget which side is the sharp one. Should I laugh or... I cry at Prince Goodmundo's incompetence with the sword. Now Prince Goodmund seems to think I could teach him all I know. Hmm. Give it up. I'm risking my life so I'd like to get paid. No, that's cheap. I can only try, my brother. I mean, do we like him? We really, really love him. I can only try, brother. Got a keep in Kuloi, very nice. Let's see what's next. The shipyard. <laughs> it's due, but I'm still reluctant. Look, there's there's even more. We could gather a lot more and then go for something like the, the castle town. If we reach like four to five hundred gold. Let's do that rather. Makes more sense. Ah, another son was born. Scrungles, I would like to invite you to join for a small gathering of friends. Emund, of course I'll come. Hmm, intrigues coming. <gasps> Ertil of Winchester is inherited. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, Emund, he has died while we were drinking with him. Oh my goodness. Our Chancellor is dead. No! Our good friend Emund. Well, at least he died happy and celebrating. Who do we have here? Sturbjorn, the chief of Snopa, or Eystein, the commander of us. Commander of us. Diego wants to gain a temple. He's one of the family. of Bragi, our son. He's terrible at it. He wants to acquire a title, but not necessarily wants to become a counselor. So... Ambitious, kind and deceitful. Tribalist, but he's our son, I mean. On the other hand, the chief of Snopa is very powerful and would be good to have around. I mean he is a charismatic negotiator. Good Bragi. And we love our son. We also really like Sturbjorn. 
So it's a toss-up, and we'll probably go for the family. Even if he's rather incompetent. Tonight the meat hall has been inflamed by rumors of a great wolf wandering through the forests near Kuloi. The man who spotted the beast claims that it is without doubt one of Fenrir's sons escaped from its frozen prison. The older members of the Lodge agree that, as the Lord of Kuloi, it's my duty to track down and slay this beast. Who are we gonna take with us? Anlauf of Gdorf? Salahadin? I'm not sure. Or oh, Alan. Alan Map Wirp. I would have nobody but you by my side. He's not a good hunter. We have this guy with skills, but he's kind of odd. He's Levantine. Levantine Germanic. Anlauf is probably, yeah, hmm, probably the best choice. We like him most. He's also in the society. A very good warrior. I could use you, Anlauf. Hail hero, it has come to our attention that your son Bragi remains outside of, all, of our fold. May we humbly urge you to talk to him about becoming a member of the Wolf Warriors, like his father. Ah, uh, he's not really the one for, for the Wolf Warriors, I'm sorry. Before we leave for this perilous journey to slay the monster that is menacing my subjects, I should make an offering to Odin to make sure I am shielded from the preternatural powers of the creature. Ah... Uh, Odin, yeah, um, how faithful are we now? Scarred, Berserker, Trusting, Brave, Temperate. We're Temperate. I will offer something of value for a safe journey, maybe a, maybe a weapon. The time has come for us to leave the safe confines of civilization and venture forth into the dark domain of the monster, plaguing my lands. Unlauf and Odin's protection, I am sure to track down this creature and put an end to the threat it poses to my subjects once and for all. Let the hunt begin. The search for the great wolf has brought my expedition to a deep forest. It is not long before I stumble upon the half-eaten remains of the creature's last prey. Dismembered deer floating in the crimson pond. I'm certain that examining this carcass will grant me insight on this terrible beast I'm trying to hunt down. I can look at this. Abelion, the unchaste, a warrior in my lodge, is somewhat lacking dualistic best. Shameful for someone like her to be so woefully unready should the wolf warriors call upon her aid. Perhaps I should encourage her to spar with another member? Yeah, with confidence you can do anything. Yagana. Eblian the Unchaste was soundly beaten down by Yagana, who barely broke sweat in the duel. Eblian suffered some minor injuries, but I'm sure they will only serve to build character. Appreciated my choice of opponent. Very nice. And now the great wolf is resting by a riverside, its long snout red with dried up blood. Finding the beast at its weakest gives us a considerable advantage against it, yet we must also be careful not to underestimate this formidable opponent, especially now that we are so close to succeeding our quest. Finally, death to the vile monster. Great Wolf fights to the very end, but we are soon able to corner it and pierce through its hide a few times, keeping the creature at bay with our spears and patiently wait for the bleeding to weaken it enough to strike again. I land the final blow through the wolf's skull, pushing the creature on the ground. Finally, vanquish. Shall we burn the remains? I'm not sure. Bring the carcass back. We'll make a trophy out of it. Yeah, we'll, we'll make a trophy out of it. And many important warriors have gathered in the lodge tonight in order to celebrate a recent hunt. I have barely joined some of my friends in the festivities. Hilana barges in, claiming she's twice as strong as I am, and challenging me to an arms wrestling match to prove it. Oh, 
Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I think we're on. Elana and I sit in front of the other, preparing ourselves for the game. We put our arms on the table while a third fighter holds our fists still. The crowd around us chants a disjointed countdown and cheers as we start pushing against each other. Boom! For a while it seemed as if victory was assured, I was slowly pushing Gailana's hand closer and closer to the table. Yet all of a sudden she has started to gain back ground, getting her hand back up and starting to push on the opposite side. How is she doing it? The loud thud I slam Gailana's fist against the table, earning a shower of cheers from the other warriors gathered around us. Her opponent glares at me and mumbles something about accepting defeat as she rubs her hand. Ah, she was, she was good. Don't be so hard on What do we have? Oh, a new... We need a new commander. And uh, the shield maiden. Would we invite her to court? She won't come, though. That's very unfortunate. Now, let's look for a new... Oh, a court will buy a cup bearer. We have so many things we could distribute. Look at that. Who do we have here? Carl and Selby. They are all pretty great. Yeah, why not? Let's take Carl. Carl is a great choice, I feel. We have another herdman could be there. Maybe Scully. A son. Court Vulva, Edla the court physician. Why not? What does she do? A, a powerful seeress that practices soldier, form of sorcery. Among other things, she deals with curses, pre premonitions, and omens of things to come. And the cup bearer. So, look at this Finland. What's what's happening in Finland? What did they do? Are they getting invaded? Oh, he was attacking someone. He's defending against called the butcher. Bornholm and defending against the Norderiki king. Wow, that's crazy. So, I'd say thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode where we'll see what we can do and maybe we can Start the legendary gathering then. So, there's that. And maybe we should donate to the Joms Vikings. Don't know. So have a great time until then, and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out. See you soon.